December 21st Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Zephaniah Chapter 3 from the Old Testament The filthy stained city is as good as dead. The city filled with oppressors is finished. She is disobedient. She refuses correction. She does not trust the Lord. She does not seek the advice of her God. Her princes are as fierce as roaring lions. Her rulers are as hungry as wolves in the desert, who completely devour their prey by morning. Her prophets are proud. They are deceitful men. Her priests defile what is holy. They break God's laws. The just Lord resides within her. He commits no unjust acts. Every morning he reveals his justice. At dawn he appears without fail, yet the unjust know no shame. I destroyed nations. Their walled cities are in ruins. I turned their streets into ruins. No one passes through them. Their cities are desolate. No one lives there. I thought certainly you will respect me. Now you will accept correction. If she had done so, her home would not be destroyed by all the punishments I have threatened. But they eagerly sinned in everything they did. Therefore you must wait patiently for me, says the Lord, for the day when I attack and take plunder. I have decided to gather nations together and assemble kingdoms, so I can pour out my fury on them, all my raging anger. For the whole earth will be consumed by my fiery anger. Know for sure that I will then enable the nations to give me acceptable praise. All of them will invoke the Lord's name when they pray and will worship him in unison. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, those who pray to me will bring me tribute. In that day, you will not be ashamed of all your rebelliousness against me, for then I will remove from your midst those who proudly boast, and you will never again be arrogant on my holy hill. I will leave in your midst a humble and meek group of people, and they will find safety in the Lord's presence. The Israelites who remain will not act deceitfully, They will not lie, and a deceitful tongue will not be found in their mouth. Indeed, they will graze peacefully like sheep and lie down. No one will terrify them. Shout for joy, daughter Zion. Shout out, Israel. Be happy and boast with all your heart, daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned back your enemy. Israel's king, the Lord, is in your midst. You no longer need to fear disaster. On that day they will say to Jerusalem, Don't be afraid, Zion. Your hands must not be paralyzed from panic. The Lord your God is in your midst. He is a warrior who can deliver. He takes great delight in you. He renews you by his love. He shouts for joy over you. As for those who grieve because they cannot attend the festivals, I took them away from you. They became tribute and were a source of shame to you. Look at that time I will deal with those who mistreated you. I will rescue the lame sheep and gather together the scattered sheep. I will take away their humiliation and make the whole earth admire and respect them. At that time I will lead you. At the time I gather you together. Be sure of this, I will make all the nations of the earth respect and admire you when you see me restore you says the Lord. God, we come from a feel-good society where it's very self-focused, very much on pleasure and good things. Things to be consumed, things to be watched, things to be entertained by, uh, things to participate in, but all good and almost always about us. And one of the things that I love about this last part of Zephaniah is this powerful statement of, therefore you must wait patiently for me. Therefore you must wait patiently for me, not to necessarily give you good, but this time I'm about to attack, take plunder, pour out my fury on you. And guess what? I'm asking you to wait for that. (laughs) We usually aren't a people who wait patiently for anything, much less for something that we would consider bad. But one of the things I have definitely learned from you, especially in these last couple years, that that in terms of the world have been incredibly hard years for me, 
um, is the discipline and hard times that come are these amazing powerful lessons from you all just soaked in your love for us I have yet to find anything in my life that is just bad there's been bad people who've come into my life and tried to destroy things in my life and you have made those things good there have been bad situations that happened in my life and you've made those things good <laughs> and it's this incredible path that I can watch happen that what we view as bad such as pouring out the Lord's fury on us uh, eventually will become good and that good will be to glorify you God we just stumble over this concept and we really struggle and I can't say we as in like a stereotypical blanket over everyone but I can say me struggle with this understanding of being joyful and worshiping you not just in during the times where we think things are going well or right but at all times you go on a little bit later in Zephaniah and you say shout for joy daughter Zion shout out Israel so in the midst of all your troubles I want you to be happy you need to understand if I bring judgment against you it's because I love you if I bring goodness into your life it's because I love you don't you get this I want what is best for you and sometimes what is best for you is teaching you lessons and unfortunately because you're human you've got to learn the hard way so sometimes those things will be really hard and really difficult and really painful but you've got to remember that I'm doing this because I love you and then I love the ending part where it's not only that you love us and you teach us and you discipline us and you help us and you guide us but as we get it as we understand as we become dependent upon you as we rely on your strength as we humble ourselves in obedience to you you rejoice you take delight in us you renew us with your love and you shout with joy over us how incredible is that so God thank you for this amazing powerful reminder that in the midst of judgment discipline persecution and just the general bad things that happen in life remind us to praise you to thank you to wait patiently for you as we go through whatever it is that you need us to go through to strengthen us, to help us understand what endurance is, and to get us ready for whatever you have for us coming in the future. God, I am just stunned that you take great delight in me, especially with all the things I get wrong. But it just shows this endless love that you have for us, filled with so much grace and so much mercy, that you get so excited over us and our path in life that I am still stunned at the love that you have for us I pray all this in your son's name Amen